Hello all you have finds out there and lovers of Town of Salem. My name is Superson Skim and you're joining me for the Town of Salem Forger Guide. So this Forger Guide is based upon my experience playing Forger both in the PTR pre-release and a couple games in custom uh, post-release. So, to get right ahead started here, uh, my first tip is to keep a careful eye out for any soft roll claims, as including a target's correct roll in a Forger will can be useful for many purposes. Another one is that if you're playing with the Disguiser, you can get a mislinch if you know the role of the person that they are targeting. You can do this by forging a will for the target with the correct role, but the wrong name, your mislinch target. And this makes it appear as if the Disguiser has been discovered and may lead to an easy mislinch. So, for example, if you guys are going to kill off Joe tonight, okay, and uh, you know Joe's role, you can actually forge him, have the Disguiser take Joe... Uh, Joe's body, but instead of putting the Disguiser's name in the Forge Will, you can put a different random town's name in the Forge Will. So it has the correct role the Bob had in the Will, but the incorrect name, and that will point to somebody else. You can easily get a mislinch there. That's my favorite, favorite strategy to use thus far as the Forger. So here's another tip though. Forge important roles like mayor or jailer to keep information from town. If possible, include misleading information. For example, if you know that you're going to be killing off the jailer, and uh, you go ahead and forge a role with the correct name, the correct role in there, but then put fake claims in. And this is going to totally confuse town and really put them off the, off the map. Same thing works for mayor. Or other roles like investigator. And on that note, if you know their role beforehand, include false night results for town investigative roles, as this can throw suspicion off of Mafia and onto unsuspecting townies. So if the if the investigator, you know, you say the investigator investigated so and so last night, and it came up with Mafia. Oh, this person's mayor or godfather. Even though you totally made that up, you can only do that, however, if you know your target's role. If you know they're an investigative or not. If you don't know their role and you put all that fake information, they go, "Hey, that's not. That's the forged will. The guy died was an escort, but the role, the will says he was an investigator. That's not right." So you have to make sure that you actually know their role before doing this. Now, here's a really good tip for you. You can write your forge wills during the day in your own will section and then copy paste them at night in order to save time. A lot of complaints were, hey, you know, I don't really have time to write a full will at night. It's, it's kind of hard to do it, especially later on in the game. So you can actually start writing it during the day and just copy paste it if you have the ability to copy paste. And that will severely help you out when you're trying to do that. Another one is you can use forger to blank wills out like a janitor, but Keep in mind, it does not clean their role like the, jail, the janitor does. So I would actually argue that if you cannot put a convincing fake will that will actually mislead town, just clearing the role is actually weaker than a janitor. So try to pick targets, try to make sure that you're putting in wills that are somewhat believable, and use that power to throw around suspicion and confuse town, not just blank out the will. So, another one, Forger and Consigulaire work really well together, as the Forger can use the Consigulaire's notes on the rolls to build a good Forged will. So if you have a Consigulaire, make sure you know what, what rolls they're finding, and then you can, you can specifically build a roll with misleading information for the night that you kill them. And finally, my last tip for you guys today is to make sure that your Godfather chooses targets quickly at night. A lot of problems that I've seen is that the Godfather sits there and... and thinks about it for a good 20-25 seconds and you don't have enough time to write a good forged will. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found it very helpful. And if you did, please give a like, comment, subscribe, all that great awesome fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you guys out there in-game with the forger. Peace out. Hey, since I've got you here, why don't you click on that subscribe button? Or even follow me on Twitter or check out the next and previous videos. Yeah!